The Thames Ridley is the most critically endangered sea turtle species in the world, and Potter Island National Seashore is the most important Thames Ridley nesting beach in the United States. This species nests mostly in Mexico, but there's been an effort for over 30 years to try to increase nesting here at Potter Island National Seashore to form a secondary nesting colony as a safeguard against extinction. Normal procedure at Potter Island National Seashore is to incubate the eggs, to protect them from threats on the beach, various human-related and natural factors that could impact their survival there, and then to release the hatchlings. This year, there was concern because of the oil spill, and so uh, the procedures were evaluated for what happens to hatchlings released all around the country. And what was decided was that hatchlings that emerge from beaches where there's oil on the beach or in waters immediately offshore from the beach, that those hatchlings or the nests will be translocated to a safer area for release. Whereas the other turtles that are emerging from beaches that are not oiled and do not have oil immediately offshore, those will be released as normal and allowed to go free. So at Padre Al National Seashore, the beaches on the Texas coast are not fouled with oil. We don't have water immediately offshore. We haven't had it this summer down in South Texas. So the hatchlings have been released as normal. Really seven to 8,000 Kempsterly hatchlings have been released so far this year. And today we released 165. We work extremely hard to try to find the nests, to tend to the eggs, to get as good a hatching success as possible. And then the final step that we're involved in is the release. And we want to make sure that all the turtles that we put on the beach safely get into the water. So over our hatching release crew and over the majority of the hatchings on the beach, we have a net that would prevent the gulls from swooping down and taking any of the hatchings on the beach. And then in the water, we station a few personnel. And they're there with poles that have little streamers. And that's just to deter the gulls from sweeping down and getting the turtles in those close waters. Holding Hatchings in captivity is called head starting or captive rearing, and there are concerns about potential impacts to the turtles from that captive rearing, impacts on their behavior after they're released.